How do we feel about it? Hey guys. So today I wanted to do a glam base, like a super glam base. Okay, flawlessness. So the key to one of those like makeup artist bases is hydration, always. I want this to be something that's gonna be glam, something that's gonna be like red carpet. It's gonna last. I'm just putting on Auric right now. This is something that I used to use as a moisturizer all of the time, and I really only use it as a primer now for days like this where I really want like a super glam base. Uh, and this is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. As far as primer goes, it just like creates the most beautiful like glow, like feel to my skin, you know? It gives it like the slip. So I moisturize with this today. I'm gonna take a little bit more to hydrate underneath my eyes. I'm also just checking these breakouts to see how hydrated they are. This one feels a little bit dry. I wanna make sure that all of those areas, all of the areas that need that coverage, where I'm gonna be placing more product are well hydrated. All right, especially in those areas that are very dry. Another thing that I like to use is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Primer. So I'm gonna take a small amount of that. This is like super nice and smoothing. It's also super hydrating. So on top of that hydration that we already have, I'm going to spread this in those areas to make sure that I'm smoothing out that skin so that you're not gonna see any of the texture. And then in the areas where I tend to get a little bit oily throughout the day, uh, in particular, I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. So once again, I'm using just like a teeny tiny amount. The way that it works for me is it kind of like prevents oil from coming through throughout the day without making your skin look dry. Now that my eyes are nice and hydrated, I'm just checking because I don't want to, I want to make sure that um, there isn't any like leftover moisture that's just kind of sitting on top of the skin. So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm pressing that into the skin. I'm gonna prep my under eyes using my Milk Makeup um, Eye Primer and you really don't need a lot either. So I'm just, you don't need to like pile it up in other words. I just want to make sure that it's nice and even and I'm focusing this in the areas where I have lines. So when I smile, I wanna make sure that I'm placing it in those areas where those lines are so that it holds on to that concealer. And this will help prevent it from like creasing throughout the day. This is not a base that I am doing on the daily. This is not everyday makeup. This is glam. This is like big occasion, wedding, red carpet, like something that is like huge. You know what I mean? Like sometimes that you don't wanna do the regular. So you always wanna remember that you want the finish of your skin to look beautiful before you even start putting makeup on, right? So I'm pretty happy with the way that everything is looking right now, that the glow that I have going on, the lighting is so uneven. So now I am going to go in with color corrector underneath my eyes. So I'm going to color correct the darkness underneath my eyes so that that darkness doesn't come through as gray when I go in with my concealer. I'm gonna be using my uh, Sigma Light to Medium Spectrum Color Correcting Duo. Try to look up into a mirror if you can tilting your eyes like this so that you're keeping everything nice and flat. So my favorite foundation, um, especially for like this kind of a look, is the Rare Beauty foundation. I love this formula. It's very lightweight, but you can build it up for sure. It's like this nice in-between, between like light and full coverage. I don't even know how to describe it. It just feels really nice on my skin. So I'm actually gonna put this um, out on the back of my hand. This is in the shade 170W. And I'm using a damp beauty blender. It's just like my favorite way to apply foundation. I think the extra moisture just like really helps to keep it looking like skin. Why are they so rude? I shushed them so many times. I noticed that like I had some redness on my chin, so I started there. So then I'm slowly sort of like bringing it around the rest of my face because I wanna make sure that I have like a nice even application, but without applying way too much product. So I'm going in with small amounts and then once I have like that nice cohesive color throughout my skin, then I can kind of like reassess and see if I need to build up coverage. So you don't need to go in with a ton all at once. Okay, now if there are any large areas that need a little bit more coverage, I can just pick up like a tiny bit and just build up a little bit in those areas, a little bit of redness here around those breakouts. I have a little bit of redness right here. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Concealer. This is also in 170W. Um, this is their Serum Concealer. Once again, like very interesting formula. It's like a little bit more moussey, uh, but it's like pretty lightweight while providing like a lot of really nice coverage. So I'm gonna use this directly underneath my eyes. 
in areas where I essentially want to conceal. I'm gonna start off with that and blend that out with the top of my LC Cosmetics Velvet Sponge. And I like to focus this directly under my eyes in that area where we went in with the color corrector, bring it a little bit into the outer corner, into that hollow and along the side of my nose. So I'm basically like focusing on large areas of the face before I even consider concealing like any of these tiny little imperfections. You wanna start with like large areas and then work your way to small. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of that right here. So I have a tiny bit of like darker pigmentation around my mouth that I used to like not even care about, but now I think I care. <laughs> you can see as I'm blending those products, I'm kind of like doing this. I like wanna make sure that I'm applying enough so that I get that nice like color change but I don't want to build up so much product that it's like heavy in that area because that will not wear well. All right, now I wanna do some serious highlighting, okay? So I'm actually gonna use that same concealer, but in the shade uh, 100W, which I actually think is like the lightest one. So what I wanna do is apply a little bit of this right in here where you can see like for my face, it gets very, very dark in here. So I wanna widen this area by lightening this. It's gonna blend onto the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna put a little bit of that right here. I'm like picking up the product and then I'm wiping it off because I do not want a ton of this, trust me. For my cheekbones, I want to highlight right there. So I used my initial concealer to conceal to provide more coverage than my foundation and now I'm really highlighting. I wanna take it here. So accentuating the height of my cheekbones, height and width of my cheekbones narrowing the sides of my nose a little bit and then opening up this dark area of my eye. <laughs> can you see how much, <laughs> can you see how it makes, um, it makes the bridge look like it's going back, like this is all one plane and it kind of widens the space between my eyes because I don't have particularly, um, I have kind of close set eyes and then dragging that down into the hollow and on the side of the nose, once again, to make this plane look like it's all one thing, which helps make the nose look a little bit more narrow and hide the hollow of the under eye. All right, I wanna put a little bit of shape back into my face now with my uh, cream contour. So I'm going to be using the Fenty um, a Matchstick in Amber. So I'm gonna start off with my jawline. I wanna push this area back in space. Now I wait until all of my like bronzer, my contour and everything is on before I conceal those areas that are poking through so that I have, uh, I can create like a custom concealer color so that I don't have like white popping through. It'll also ensure that I'm able to conceal those without like removing coverage while I'm applying things like bronzer and blush and contour and all that stuff. So for this makeup look today, I'm gonna be doing a combination of creams and powders for each product because I wanna make sure that it's going to last. Blending lightly and keeping everything where I want it, but I also wanna make sure that I don't end up with any harsh lines because this is going to be like the bones of the makeup, obviously. So once we go in with our powders, there's no going back. So you wanna make sure that your creams are very well blended. It really helps to kind of like sit back and look, you know? Like right there, it's kind of patchy. It's hard to see when you're doing your own makeup. It's a lot easier, you know, to do it on someone else because you can kind of like remove yourself. Taking a step back and kind of like looking in different angles and different lighting is going to be very helpful for this. Now, if I had concealed those areas around my temples and then I went in and did this, I would be removing all of that coverage right now. I also want to make sure that whatever concealer I put down to conceal this area blends with everything, right? So obviously I'm not going to use like the, that white concealer color to conceal this now that I have this like contour shade here. All right, once you have everything down, then you can kind of like see if there are any harsh lines, go back in with your sponge and just blend around those edges. Because again, you want to make sure, this is just like the first layer of that shape, you wanna make sure that everything is nice and seamless so that you can really like solidify it when you go in with the powder. All right, now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my cream bronzer. And I'm gonna be using the um, NYX Wonder Stick. 
in Universal Light. Another thing to remember is to hold your brush back nice and far. If you're holding it up here, you're gonna end up getting like really harsh lines when you're blending. If you hold it back here, you're gonna end up just being a lot softer on the face. All right, and then same thing, go back in with your sponge and just kind of like do blending around the edges. Make sure you're looking to see if there's any like patchiness. And I know it's like so annoying to still see this, but like, just be patient. We're gonna get to it. So I just noticed that a little bit of um, this area right over here, I have this like streak that's just like irritated. Um, so I picked up just a little bit of my foundation and I'm using a little Sigma brush. I'm just patting over that. All right, for my cream blush, I'm going to use Hope from Rare Beauty. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand and I'm gonna pick it up on the butt of my sponge. So I'm gonna use the butt of my sponge to pick it up and then I'm gonna kind of like pat it on the back of my hand. So I'm not going in with way too much. And then slowly build this up on my cheek. Now this part can be a little bit more intense than you think you want it to be because we are gonna set our face with a powder and you're gonna lose a bit of that color. Like if you think like this is a little too much and you're gonna go in with a powder blush, don't worry about it because we're gonna set with a powder, you're gonna lose some of that. All right, we're done with our creams. <laughs> finally, are you excited? All right, now I'm finally going to conceal <laughs> these areas. So for this little guy right here, I'm gonna go in with my first Rare Beauty, Beauty Concealer because it best matches that area. So this is 170W. I'm gonna just kind of like pop a little bit down right there. And I'm gonna let it sit for a sec. For the other areas, they're a little bit darker and then darker areas. So I'm going to use a slightly darker concealer, um, which for me is the uh, Kosas uh, O2W concealer. This matches my um, complexion perfectly. So I'm gonna put this out on the back of my hand. I don't want that to sit for too long. So now that it's sat for a second, I'm gonna take my LC sponge and I'm just gonna pat patting so lightly. And then once I have it like pressed into that area, I'm just taking like the little tip of the brush and blending around the edge. Um, so now I have a slightly darker concealer. Now this area was contoured, <laughs> it was bronzed, and I've got some blush happening there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of my contour shade from Fenty on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna do this. I think that's all I really need. I don't really need the blush. Well, maybe I need a little bit of blush. So I'm gonna put a teeny bit of the Rare Beauty blush once again. And using a tiny little blending brush. This is the uh, Shader Crease Brush from Samantha's Collection with Sigma. I'm literally going to mix a little bit of those colors. So I'm literally just going to pick up a little bit of each. Well, for my temple, I'm just gonna mix the um, concealer and the contour color. And then whatever is on that brush, I'm just gonna pop it. I feel like I need a little bit more of the concealer shade, like maybe it's a little bit dark. So I'm literally mixing a custom concealer. And I'm doing the same thing, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. That's what this, honestly, that's what this entire video should be. I don't know why it's gonna be so long. <laughs> like, isn't that such an amazing trick? Just saying. All right, my mic was not on for that entire time. Sorry about that. I don't know how the fuck that happened. So I'm gonna use that same brush. I'm literally just gonna wipe it off on a paper towel. And I'm gonna pat around those edges because those were some like dark breakouts. So I don't really want to like remove any of the coverage that's on. So I just like place that coverage down and now I'm literally just patting around the edge because no one will notice how thick the coverage is in those areas because it's literally like, I mean, like when you're looking at my face, you don't even see it. Now using that same brush, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a setting powder. So this is the um, Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder, any powder that you like. And I'm gonna pick up a small amount of this powder on the tip of the brush. I'm gonna tap it off so I'm not going in with way too much. And I'm going to place this down on top of each of those breakouts. It might stand out for a second, might look strange because the rest of my face is super dewy and we're like mattifying this area, but I am going to go in with this powder essentially all over my face. So I wanna start by really making sure that these are set before I do that. So you can see I'm like really placing down a lot of that powder in those areas, essentially baking <laughs> those breakouts. 
and I'm using like a really, really, really gentle application because I don't want to remove any of that coverage accidentally. I don't want to like move it around. I'm gonna set underneath my eyes while those just like sit for a sec. This is my own little concoction of a setting powder. So I typically wouldn't use a powder nowadays if you've seen any of my like recent videos, but because I went in with so much of that hydration, I'm gonna use a tiny bit of a setting powder because I can get away with it now. This is my own concoction. I used the container of the Beauty Bake Bakery flour powder. This is a co combination of Bare Minerals Well Rested, okay? My Elsie Cosmetics setting powder, okay? And the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. <laughs> I combined all of these powders. I'm using my MAC 240S brush. So I'm gonna load up my brush and then tap it off. And then I'm gonna go in with my sponge. I wanna make sure that all of the little, um, all these little guys, anything that might've traveled up into my lines is blended out. And then using my Elsie sponge, I wanna make sure that everything is just like super smooth. So I wanna, I have to make crazy faces <laughs> to keep that skin as flat as possible. And I'm gonna set this entire area. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm gonna make sure I'm not applying too much product. I'm placing this around my nose. This is essentially my like setting brightening powder. So around my nose, basically anywhere where I've placed that concealer and I need to brighten or I want to brighten, which is usually like the center of my face. It's bright. A lot of setting, the reason that I mix this is because a lot of setting powders, your eyes just look darker. Like you conceal and then you go in with your setting powder and it ends up looking darker. But sometimes if you use a setting powder that's super brightening, like remember Anastasia had those like brightening, under eye brightening powders, it can be too heavy. So I decided to mix my own. That would be a little bit less heavy but still give me that nice brightening glow. Now that I have that, uh, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of the Makeup Forever powder. Uh, I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss, whatever this is, brush. It's like perfecting something, something. Uh, and I'm going to set the rest of my face. So in this area, just patting, I'm gonna go over everything. Could definitely use a larger brush, whatever. You know, when I do these videos, I'm so far away from my mirror so that it's like not in the screen because I hate using like a handheld mirror getting close because I always end up like covering up my face and you can't see what I'm doing. I've said this before, but my makeup never looks as good when I film it. So just give me a little bit of wiggle room here. So now um, I want to build up each of those products, those cream products that we went in with, with a powder. So I'm gonna start off actually uh, not in reverse, but like kind of. I'm gonna use um, a bronzer first. I'm gonna use my NARS San Juan bronzer. And I'm using a highlighting brush, essentially. This is from Morphe, it's super old. I don't even know if they still like have this, but it's such a good brush. So I'm gonna swirl my brush in there, make sure I'm tapping it off. I always tap off onto the palette, by the way. People complain when I tap stuff off. They're like, you're wasting it. I always tap back onto the palette, just saying. Anyway, um, so I'm going to use a very light hand and I'm going to dust this all in the areas that I bronzed. Now, important, in the areas where I like had to apply that coverage, I'm patting rather than swiping because I do not want to remove that coverage. So I'm just gonna pat in that area and buff in the rest of it. All right, now I'm gonna do my contour. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss um, Radiance Boosting Face Palette. I'm gonna use the contour shade right here. And I'm actually going to apply that with a new brush that I got, cause Gabby had it and uh, used it on me and I was like, I need that. It's from Smith. It's the 104 brush. Picking up, tapping off, picking up, tapping off, picking up, tapping off. <laughs> this is like a very, very light hand. Cause I'm just kind of like creating a little bit more of that definition. Remember to look at your face in different angles so you can make sure that there aren't any like patchy areas. This time I'm gonna start at the bottom in this area where I really like to push back, like I really want this to go back in space. And then I'm gonna take what's left over and just kind of like bring it up, refine any areas. Swipe and then pat. 
And then using my Refer 13 brush, same thing for my nose and my lips, so picking up that powder. Remember, you're using the lightest hand because you're just kind of like reinforcing what you put down. You already have the bones there. You just need to like amp it up a little bit. So blending should always be the focus. One of the things that I've been loving right now, or yeah, right now, what? Is a glowy blush. This is a new blush from Ciate. It's the uh, Glow To blush. This one's in the shade First Date. So I'm gonna apply this uh, over obviously the place where I, bl I blushed. Where I blushed. Um, and I'm going to apply this with my Rare Beauty Powder Brush. So this, like I said, it's a process that takes, I mean, it's a process, it takes a while, you know what I mean? But if you are going to a wedding or if it's your wedding, or if you have, I don't know, you're, you're graduating, or I don't know, maybe you just have like some fancy event or some party that you just like really wanna show out to, this is what I would do. Just to continue being extra, two highlighters. I'm gonna start off with Champagne Pop OG as essentially my br brush. Alex, my blush topper. I'm gonna use the um, Tapered Contour Brush by Sigma. Um, Samantha, once again, her collab. Apply this to the tops of the cheekbones on top of that blush, even though it's a glow blush. You definitely don't need to do this, but like, what did I just say? I wanna show out, you know what I mean? It's like we already have a beautiful glow. Like, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous how stunning it is. Um, and then to finish it off, I'm gonna use another Samantha brush. This is the um, hi the fan brush, which I've never liked a fan brush before. Just saying, she nailed it. Uh, now I'm gonna go in with my Vesca highlight, which is my go-to like pale vanilla shade. Pick this up on that fan brush and I'm gonna hit the very tops of my cheekbones. So just like right in this she, see, she, she shape to just like really intensify. So do you see that? We're basically just like amping up the glow a thousand and ten percent. I'm gonna take this right at the top of the bridge of the nose, down the bridge of the nose to make it look a little more straight and then right on the tip. And then depending on like where you get oily <laughs> or if you get oily, sometimes I like to do tip of my chin just above the brow. All right, and then final step, setting, setting spray. So I am going to use, where did I put it? This is the All Nighter, Urban Decay All Nighter De-Slick setting spray. Now the reason that I'm using a De-Slick setting spray is not because my skin looks oily. <laughs> it doesn't, it looks beautiful. But whenever I use like a regular setting spray or if I use the regular All Nighter setting spray, it makes my skin look oily. So. This um, does contain like a little bit of, um, I think like a powder in it. So you wanna make sure that you're really shaking it before you apply it and do some like test, test sprays first. Um, and this is where Patrick Tall really comes in handy. How do we feel about it? Once again, long process, okay? It's a lot, trust me. But um, this is what I would love, I would wear for like super special events. It's nice to know that I can still do it. <laughs> Cause I just haven't worn makeup like this in such a long time, you know? But I do love it and it wears so beautifully, so beautifully. Um, as far as touch-ups go, I never really feel like I need anything. If I have any kind of like settling in lines, which like, you know, over time, like you do this, I have like a deep line here when I smile. That shit happens, dude, okay? So if you are like wearing a decent amount of makeup, you might get a little bit of settling. All I like to do is take a little brush, like something like this little guy. This is my Refer 14 brush. This is so nice for just buffing those areas. So instead of going in with a clean brush because that will remove product, sometimes I'll take just a teeny bit of powder with me or I'll just load this up with powder and then I'll keep it in my bag. And then throughout like the night, when I go to the bathroom, I'll just check. And if I need to like buff a little bit right here or a little bit in this line right here, I'm good. Uh, all right guys, I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you wanna see more like glam type stuff. I love a flawless base, who doesn't? Uh, and uh, yeah, 
I don't know, whatever. Let me know what you want to see next. That's it. Goodbye. Just really quickly, I know that you guys love that I don't like have a long intro where I'm like, oh my God, like and subscribe and leave a comment and blah, blah, blah. But like, if you want me to stick around, you kind of do have to do those things. <laughs> Just saying, like your support would be greatly appreciated. <sighs> Crush my soul.